the scene was now set for the final confrontation between Joseph and his brothers. Have the brothers really changed? Can Joseph forgive his brothers? The brothers were brought back to Joseph's house. When they arrived, the brothers threw themselves on the ground in front of Joseph. Joseph said, What have you done? Don't you know that a man like me has ways to find things out? They said, Sir, what can we say to you, my lord? How can we prove we haven't done anything wrong? God has shown you our guilt. We are now your slaves, all of us, including the one who was found to have your silver cup. Joseph must have thought to himself, Hmm, it looks like they are willing to share the blame and take the punishment together. What if I gave them an opportunity to abandon Benjamin and see their reaction? Then I shall know if they have really repented of their past sins. Then Joseph said, only the man who was found to have the cup will become my slave. The rest of you can go back to your father in peace. This was the moment of truth. Would the brothers run and abandon Benjamin? In the 44th chapter of Genesis, we have the recorded response from Judah, the same brother who had sold Joseph as a slave many years ago. Judah stepped forward and confronted Joseph, not knowing he was their lost brother. My lord, Please let me speak a word with you. Don't be angry with me, even though you are ruler of Egypt. Judah then told Joseph about how precious Benjamin was to their father, how reluctantly their father had allowed Benjamin to come on this journey. If Benjamin was not with them when they returned, their father would die in sorrow and grief. Your servant guaranteed the boy's safety to my father. I said... If I do not bring him back to you, I will bear the blame before you, my father, all my life. Now then, please let your servant remain here as my lord's slave in place of the boy, and let the boy return with his brothers. How can I go back to my father if the boy is not with me? Judah's anguish pierced Joseph to the heart. Yes. My brothers have changed. They would not abandon Benjamin and do him harm as they did me. Joseph thought to himself. Joseph then ordered all his servants and attendants to leave them alone. Joseph said to his brothers, I am Joseph, your lost brother. Is my father still alive? But his brothers could not speak, as they were astonished and terrified. I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now, do not be distressed and angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you, and also to make sure that our family would survive. Then Joseph urged his brothers to return to their father and tell him that his son Joseph was alive and ruler of Egypt under Pharaoh. Bring him here with your families and live in the district of Goshen in Egypt, where I can care for you and feed you all, for there are still five years of famine to come. So they returned and told their father that Joseph was alive. Not only was he alive, but he was the ruler of Egypt, answerable only to Pharaoh. Jacob was stunned. He did not believe them. But when they told him everything Joseph had said to them, and when he saw the carts Joseph had sent to carry him back, the spirit of their father Jacob revived. And Israel said, I am convinced. My son Joseph is still alive. I will go and see him before I die. So Israel set out with all that was his. And when he reached Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father Isaac. And God spoke to him in a vision at night. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for I will make you into a nation there. 
I will go down to Egypt with you, and I will surely bring you back again, and Joseph's own hand will close your eyes. Israel was a hundred and thirty years old when he began his journey to Egypt. He journeyed to Goshen together with all his children, their wives, and his grandchildren. They also brought along all their herds and flocks and all the possessions that they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Joseph came to meet his father in the land of Goshen. There they embraced with tears of joy. Jacob said, Now I am ready to die, since I have seen for myself that you are still alive. With the blessings of Pharaoh, Joseph helped to settle his father, his brothers, and their families in the land of Goshen in Egypt. Joseph tests his brothers to see if they will abandon Benjamin to save themselves. The brothers were all willing to stay behind and share the punishment with Benjamin. But when offered a chance to leave in peace without Benjamin, it is Judah who stands up and tells Joseph that he is willing to trade his own freedom for Benjamin's. This convinces Joseph that his brothers have changed. Joseph then reveals himself. Joseph knows that his brother's wicked actions and his own rise to power was all part of God's plan to save the family. He forgives his brothers and there is reconciliation. Joseph can now see the significance of his own dreams. The 11 stars and sheaves of corn representing his brothers now serve under him. Jacob is delighted to hear that Joseph is alive and reunites with him after an absence of more than 20 years. He gives thanks and worships God. 